hi friends. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to take a field trip today for one of our last videos. As you guys might remember, Miss Helen and I, we live in Fairhaven, and I thought it would be so much fun to take a field trip to the fire department. So my husband is the fire chief, and he said he would show us around. So first, let's check out his truck. See all the lights and the sirens? Super cool. All right, he's gonna hop out and he's gonna tell us about his truck. We'll just give him one second. You can see all the lights. This is truck ER522. And that's his helmet on the front of it. They've got a friend, a puppet up there. He's watching over him. Hi, let me tell you about my firehouse. We have three trucks in our firehouse at Fairhaven, and I would like to show them to you. The one you saw all lit up is ER-522. This is our newest truck. ER stands for engine rescue, because this truck not only pumps water, but it also carries the rescue tools that we use at car accidents. It carries 750 gallons of water. Oh. I'll give you a quick little once around the truck. On this side of the truck, we have ladders to get to upstairs, up to roofs and windows to get people out. We have pre-connected attack hoses to fight fires with. We have assorted tools. We have a cable reel with electrical connections on them so we can use electrical power right off our truck. It has its own generator. We have compartments that have our most of our rescue tools are on this side of the truck. This is our jaws that we use to get out of car accidents. Wow. And if you come around to the back of the truck, this is our hose bed, where most of our hose is. We have different sizes of hose for different things. We have five inch hose for water supply. We have two and a half inch hose for large fires. We have a three inch hose that's hooked up to a, to a small water gun that we use for even bigger fires. And on top of the truck, which you can't see, we have a big water gun that we use for really big fires. That's so cool. Can we look inside the fire truck? Sure. I'm gonna come Maybe. around. Let me come around with the truck, and I'll show you this side quick. We have more compartments with more tools. We've got fans in there to blow smoke out. We've got airbags to lift things up. We've got our nozzles and fittings and small hoses to hook up the hydrants are in this compartment. This is our pump panel. This is where we have our water that comes in and water that comes out. And that's where we pump water to put on the fire. One firefighter stands here and this is his job to run the pump. the truck. And the inside of our truck, we have six seats in this truck and five of the six seats have air packs built into them. So the firefighter can get into his air pack on the way to the fire and get off the truck ready to work. We've got a set of hand tools there for them to grab so he can get in the front door or anything they need to open up. A couple of fire extinguishers and some other tools that are mounted inside the cab so we can get to them quickly. On the front bumper of the truck, we have our siren and our, and our air horns. And our electronic siren speaker, so we can make a lot of noise with this truck so people know that we're coming. We also have a hose line on the front of the truck that we use for small fires because it's easy to get to. We don't have to climb up or climb down. And we have another water intake, so we've got another option for getting water into the truck. Moving over here, our second truck is ETA 521. This truck is an engine tanker. It not only can fight fire, but it also carries 1,500 gallons of water. This carries twice the water that, that, that the first truck does. And this is primarily used for water supply. 
We can also fight fire with it as you go around the truck. You'll see it has a lot of the same equipment. We have pre-connected hose lines here, intakes and discharges. We don't have a front bumper line on this truck. We've got a one on the side that does the same thing. What about this truck? This truck is our brush truck. This is Brush 523. We use this for brush fires and it also carries a lot of equipment that we don't have room for on the other trucks or we may need whether one truck or the other truck is at the fire. This has 250 gallons of water on it, has a little pump, has small hose for grass fires. It also has three tanks of air that we can use to fill our air packs with when they're empty so we can put fresh air in the firefighters' backs and send them back into the burning building. Do you guys see some tools that might look familiar? I see shovels. If you come back here, you get a pretty good view of the tools. We've got fire rakes and shovels. And there's rakes. We've got, we got forestry more line. And here's our pump. We've got a generator with a light on it. We've That's... got pack pumps that we use to, to fight grass fires with. We added some lights to the side of the truck for some scene lights. So it's a kind of a versatile little truck. That's really cool. I see over here you have, it looks like this is their bunker gear, what the yep. firefighters wear. We have gear racks all around the station because we, as we get more people, we need more gear racks. And everybody has a, has a helmet. They have a wildland helmet for grass or brush fires when they don't need the big helmet. They've got a smaller, lighter one. So my friends, a grass and brush fire is when the, when a field is on fire. A field or a woods or leaves or something like that. You have your coat, which is made of three layers. One keeps everything safe. The middle layer keeps you dry and the inner layer keeps you warm. The pants are made of the same three layers as the coat. And most of us have gone to leather boots that are more comfortable than the old rubber ones. That's so cool. So let's walk back to the first truck and just take a quick peek at the where the driver sits. Here's some more gear, guys. Uh huh. And then I see gloves. And we also here's have, the back of this another is the back truck. Of, this is the back of the engine tanker. You've got a lot more supply hose on this truck than the other truck. We also have a big tank on the side of this that we can put on the ground and fill with water from tankers if we don't have fire hydrants. Like a lot of places out in the country, we don't have hydrants, so we have to have another source of water. This is a much bigger fire extinguisher than the one in our classroom. What do you think, guys? Much bigger. Let's go back to and check out ER 522 one last time and look at the inside of it. This is the officer's seat. So this is where the officer sits. He runs the radio, runs the siren. That's pretty we'll take cool. you around to the driver's seat where the driver sits. And this is where the driver sits. There's a lot of switches and buttons to control all the things on the cab of the truck. And the big yellow knob is how we put it in pump so we can pump water with the same engine that we use to drive down the road. Can you guys pretend to climb into your fire truck? Here, Mr. Chief, can you hold the camera for me and come this way? I can do that. All right, guys, you saw all of those clothing. Put on your bunker pants, put on your coat, put on your boots, and then put on your helmet. We gotta make sure we're safe, right? Ugh. All right. Ready? Are you guys in your fire trucks? Grab your steering wheels. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. All right, we drove the fire truck and we're at the fire. Now we need to climb the ladder. We saw those. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. ding. All right, guys, we climbed the ladder. Now we have to spray the hose, right? We have to put out the fire, get your hoses. Hurry, hurry, spray the hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the hose. Ding, 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 ding. All right, one last thing. 
We're all done. We gotta go back to the firehouse. Get your steering wheels ready. Slowly, slowly, back to the firehouse. Slowly, slowly, back to the firehouse. Slowly, slowly, back to the firehouse. Ding, 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 ding. All right, good job, guys. We can undress. Take off your helmets. Take off your jackets. Take off your pants. Take off your boots. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this field trip to the fire department. Say thank you. Bye.